All right, guys, you have your assignment for WSPM 5.1. Uh, I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you, obviously. I'm just gonna do a couple of problems to, to get you going here. <clears throat> so uh, number one, remember solving an inequality is just like solving an equation. You wanna get the variable by itself on one side of your inequality instead of your equal sign. So obviously your X is on the left side of this inequality. There's a plus 11 right there. Let's get rid of that plus 11 by doing the opposite of plus 11, which is minus 11. What you do to one side, you do to the other side, and you will have left x being greater than uh, five. X is greater than five. Now, you're supposed to find the matching answer uh, over here on the right side, and it's this simple, guys. Your number line, you go to the value five. If your inequality does not have a line underneath it, then it's gonna be an open dot, okay? Uh, if it had a line underneath it, then that would mean or equal to, that would include it, so it would be a solid dot, that simple. No line, open dot, there's a line, solid dot, okay? So it's an open dot, and this is a greater than symbol because it's opening up to the x. Remember, it always wants to eat the bigger value, so it's opening up to the x, x is greater. So another thing we need to remember is that greater is to the right and less is to the left. So this does say x is greater than five, greater than is to the right. There you go, simple as that. So when we look over here, which one has an open dot at five going to the right? That would be C. So the answer for A, or for number one, the answer for number one is C. Okay, just like so. Uh, let's see, which other one could we pick? Uh, I am going to jump over here where we're actually solving inequalities and also doing that same graph. Um, I'm going to do number 10. I like number 10 because the K is on the right side, okay? We wanna solve for K. K is on the right side of this inequality. So we need to get K by itself. I need to get rid of this plus three. How do I do that? Well, I do minus three. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side, minus three. So my new inequality will have k by itself. Let me write it over here. Of course, four take away three, that is one. We have this inequality symbol. And k is all that's left on the right side. So we have k all by itself on the right side. Now this is your answer. However, however, ladies and gentlemen, it does say one, is greater than or equal to k. And we don't really wanna talk about one. We wanna talk about k. You wanna talk about the variable k. So what does this say with regards to k? Well, if it's opening up to the one, that means that one is greater. That means that k is smaller. So if you read it backwards, if you read it this way, k is what? It's not greater, it's less than the one. Less than or equal to one. So to be on the safe side, it's better to take your k and always your variable, whatever it is, a, b, c, d, x, or k, uh, move it to this side and switch, in other words, switch this correct answer, switch it all around, okay? So take the k, put it over here, take the one, put it over here. So when I do that, I will have k on this side, sorry about that, and one on this side. Now, there's my answer, however, I need that inequality, and let's think about the inequality. It was originally opening up to the one, it has to continue opening up to the one. Remember, this is the right answer. It's opening up to the one, so it has to continue to open up to the one. So there's my answer, K on the left side. That's the best, I mean, this is correct, but it's better to have K on the left side. Not only that, guys, there's another trick that you could do when graphing these inequalities. If K is on the left side, the little trick that you could do to graph is it, it, it looks like an arrow. It's pointing to the left, so it's going to be going to the left. I mean, you could always use if it's greater than, it's to the right. If it's less than, it's to the left. Yeah, this is a less than symbol. But another, another little trick you could do is that if it's pointing to the left when the variable's on the left side, it's going to go to the left. If it would be pointing to the right, like let's say I had x is greater than 2, then that would be going from 2 going that way. Okay, so because it's pointing that way. And you can only do that pointing trick if your variable is on the left side. So right here, it's pointing to the right. That's incorrect. Right here is the right answer. K is less than or equal to one. It's pointing to the left. So the or equal to, let's go to one first of all. One is right here. 
um, or equal to means that it's solid because it has a solid line I made a solid dot and it is a less than less than is to the left or you could think of this as an arrow it's pointing to the left so make sure that you make it go to the left okay you know what this probably yeah anyways I think that's pretty clear I hope you understand um, how about we try one with variables on both sides okay like number 13 so you want to get y by itself on one side okay uh, what's the problem you have y's on both sides so we need to get y by itself so let's get rid of one of them I'm going to get rid of this y right here by doing the opposite of positive y which is a negative y and what I do to one side I do to the other side I subtract y over here and there is my answer Two take away one right Two take away one two y's take away one of those y's it'll give me one y you don't even have to put the one in front of it and you have this symbol right here the less than symbol and you have well this canceled out all you have is a positive two and guess what you're done uh, is this gonna be an open dot or a closed dot again remember if there's no solid line underneath it it's not gonna be a solid dot so it's gonna be an open dot at the value of two and this does have the variable on the left side so you could think of it as an arrow. It looks like an arrow pointing to the left. So it's going to be going to the left. Or you could say, what, what does this really say? It says y is less than, and less than is to the left, and greater than is to the right. Anyways, there's your answer for that one. Let's jump to the, these other more fun problems down here where you actually have to write an inequality. Take your sentence and write an actual inequality and then solve it. So let's do a number... 15. A number increased by 1. Okay, so what does that really mean? A number, well, let's just call a number the number x. It could be any number, right? So let's say x. Now, what does increased by really mean? It means that, like, if I say, hey, what's your age increased by 1? What do you do? You say your age plus 1. Okay, so a number increased by 1, it's just going to be x plus 1. You don't have to switch anything. It's not like it's saying the word from or than, right? Remember, from or than, those are key words that tell you to switch. Anyway, a number increased by one, that's what it says here, a number increased by one is less than nine. Okay, is, that means that you're talking about the equal sign, but in, in this case, not the equal sign, it's an inequality. What kind of inequality? A less than. So is less than nine. There's your inequality, but solve it. Just subtract one on both sides x is less than 8 there's your answer if you were to graph it you'd have 8 right here you could fill in a couple more values and that would be an open dot going to the left how about 16 7 more than remember the words than and from that implies a switch so we're talking about more which is plus and than which is really talking about switching the order of what you're adding so it's not gonna be 7 plus it's gonna be this second part a number so that's going to be over a number and seven seven and a number have to switch with the plus sign in the middle so here's my plus sign in the middle here's my seven and here's my number so right there that says seven more than a number seven more than a number seven more than a number again the word than implies a switch in the order that's why it's not seven plus it's actually a number plus seven okay uh, is is what is like the equal sign but it's really an inequality is less than so let's put the less than symbol or equal to the or equal to means there's a solid line underneath it to what to negative 18 to negative 18 okay so let's solve this guy I'm gonna subtract 7 subtract 7 you will have x less than or equal to negative 18 take away 7 that's negative 25 if you were to go to a number line you would put negative 25 in the middle if you're drawing your own number line it will be a solid dot fill it in because of the solid line underneath the inequality and it is going to the left because it's a less than symbol now it might be a good idea to fill in a couple more values maybe one two one two now think about it if you're at negative 25 this has to get closer to zero so this would be negative 24 negative 23 
So if you wanted to f fill in a couple more values, go for it. This would be negative 26. This would be negative 27. I hope you get the idea. Anyways, that's a 10 minute video just to help you out. Um, we will have some type of quiz. It will have some of these questions, these simple questions on the quiz uh, towards the end of this week. I think Friday we'll have a quiz. So please uh, finish this worksheet. I think you guys are doing one through 17 odd. I almost forgot guys. I don't think it happens on any one of these, but if you ever end up multiplying or dividing by a negative on your last step, you have to flip your inequality symbol. I think that's worth mentioning because it's so important. That's the main difference between an equation and an inequality besides the fact that one has an equal sign, one has an inequality. Like let's say I had negative two X is less than eight. Well right there you'd be dividing by negative two, dividing by negative two. And when you divide or multiply by a negative on your last step, you have to take this inequality and flip it. Okay, that's only if you're dividing by a negative. If it were just, let's say we had this problem, two X is less than eight. Right there, you're not dividing by a negative 2. Right there, you're dividing by a positive 2. So right there, the answer would stay x is less than 4. Okay, Important, if you divide by a negative, you have to flip that inequality symbol. Okay, If you don't divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, then you don't flip it. You just keep it the same. All right, I'm done.